Hi Stamping and Crafting Friends. Welcome to Melissa's Crafting Treehouse. Today I've got a super simple versatile card layout. Now I've used the Forever Blossom stamp set with my blends alcohol markers, but this layout works beautifully with lots of different images as I will show you. So this is also a club and free card kit project. And because this layout is so versatile, it should be super easy for those receiving this kit in the mail to make a beautiful card with whatever you have on hand. Now I'm going to start with stamping my blossom image on a piece of Whisper White cardstock. Now I'm using Jet Black Stays on here, but normally you would use a Memento Black ink, and I really just kind of forgot uh, that that's what I was supposed to be doing. But in the end, I used the Stays on and it worked out just fine. Now, as you can see, I'm inking up my blossom image really well, and that's because it's a very detailed image, and without a good amount of ink on the stamp, you'll lose some of that detail. And I'm going to also be pressing firmly to make sure I capture the detail as well. So I'm going to start by coloring with my light Knight of Navy Blends Alcohol Marker. And for this first part, I'm actually just putting um, some Knight of Navy dots where the dots are on the image. And then I'm going to come in from the center, moving out to mimic the lines of the image and follow some of the shading hints, if you will, in the images um, themselves throughout the flowers and the buds. Next, I'm going to use my dark balmy blue. And here I'm using the paintbrush style end just because I'm covering more surface area. And so it's a little bit quicker to do it with that larger end. Next, I'm using my light balmy blue. And again, I'm using the fat end or the paintbrush style end as well because now I'm going to pretty much fill in the rest of the flower with this lighter color, leaving some areas a little bit white to give the look of the light shining on the flower. Now I've got my color lifter and I'm going to do some blending of the colors that are already on there to soften any hard lines and blend where the white meets the color. Now for this focal piece, I'm going to be using my granny apple green and the green you choose will of course depend on which card pieces you get. If you qualify to get two of each of the projects, you'll be getting one layout that includes granny apple green and garden green and the other layout that includes Bermuda Bay and Coastal Cabana. So I'm preparing a focal piece here to use with my card pieces that are Granny Apple Green and Garden Green. So the colors coordinate. For both card color schemes, I'll be using the same blue colors for the flowers. The only thing that will be different is the green on the leaves. So of course now I'm just working on all of my foliage. I have some dark Granny Apple Green that I've colored on the veins and the lines and the shading of the leaves and then going to use my light granny apple green to fill in all the leaves throughout. Next, I'm going to use my Wink of Stella to add a little bit of shimmer and shine to my flowers. And I only colored the flower portions, not the leaves. And then I'm coming in with a little bit of touch ups with my dark balmy blue marker. And I'm just going back and forth and doing some additional touch-ups with my light balmy blue and with my color lifter. I went a little bit outside the lines in that one spot, so I was able to use the color lifter to remove that excess color. And here I'm showing you my Bermuda Bay and Coastal Cabana version on the left. And I used the Bermuda Bay light and dark blends alcohol markers to color in those leaves. Plus, that focal piece is stamped on a piece of Artistry Bloom's Designer Series paper and then colored in in exactly the same way. Now to get started assembling my card, 
I'm going to dry emboss my piece of Granny Apple Green cardstock. You may also have a piece of Coastal Cabana cardstock in your kit um, as an alternative. And I'm going to go ahead and spray my cardstock with a little bit of water, and that will help to make sure that uh, when I run it through my die cutting machine with the embossing folder, I'll get as deep an impression as possible. Next, I'm going to take a piece of my black glitter ribbon, put some glue dots on the ends, and attach it to my cardstock so that it's centered top to bottom. And then I'll just put adhesive on the back side and attach it to my card body. Next, I've got a piece of garden green cardstock, which I'm going to attach to the front of the card. For the alternative color scheme, this piece will be a piece of Bermuda Bay cardstock. I'm just going to lay my piece down to get my general spacing. Now, this is going to be the piece for the focal backing. And they both have adhesive on the back side already, and this one has dimensionals on the back side with the backings already removed. And I'm doing my spacing such that this space is about the same size as the space on the left, right here and here, and about the same size as what's exposed of the garden green. And once I like my positioning, I can just press them, press it down completely. And there's my finished card. As a reminder, this is a club and free card kit project. In-person club members will make this project during the November 2020 club event. Online club members will receive a kit to make this project in December 2020. Free card kit recipients will receive this project kit for qualifying online orders placed in December 2020 and January 2021. Customers who place an order in both months will receive an alternate gift for the second order. To get free card kits, all you have to do is place a qualifying order in my online store. Plus, first-time customers get all three kits regardless of the order size. To learn more about how you can get free card kits, check out the link in the video description below. I hope you enjoyed my project today, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for spending some time with me today, and happy crafting!